Hey folks, it's T. Blake Braddy, and in today's video, I'm going to be talking about whether or not you should read You Love Me by Caroline Kepnes. Let's do this. So I just finished Caroline Kepnes's new book, You Love Me. It's the third novel in the You series featuring a, a maniac serial killer, Joe Goldberg. And so I'm not going to do a formal review, but I did want to talk for just a few minutes about what I liked about the book, what I didn't like about the book, and whether or not I think you should read it. So this book is a little different from the others. Joe has moved away from Los Angeles and gotten away from the sort of uh, flashy LA culture to move to the Pacific Northwest, where serial killers like to hang out. And of course, just like with the other books, this one involves Joe falling for a woman who doesn't quite know it in the form of Mary Kay DeMarco. And she has a kid, she has, there will be spoilers, I should say, I guess at this point, she has uh, a kid and a rock star husband. And so if the last novel, Hidden Bodies, was a satire of LA, this one is more satirical about the grunge music scene and over the hill rock stars. And so, the movie proceed the movie the book proceeds the way that most of these books do joe gets himself into some terrible situations and always manages to get out of them and i have seen some criticism of the book that oh this is getting a little tired this gimmick but i have to say i'm not really tired of it at all i really dig the voice that kepness has managed to uh embody with this character Joe and a review I read said that it's a cognitive dissonance. Joe talks throughout this book about being a good guy and what good guys do while he's doing awful terrible things and there is this sense that he doesn't quite realize who he is and what he is um, and I, that, that's some of the beauty of the book and I think I don't know I'm sure that male writers could do this but I think there's something particularly biting that it's a female author who's really tackling the subject in such a smart and provocative way. That's the good part of this book. More than the others though, what I find to be negative about this book, um, or just not to my, not, you know, not to something I like is the middle third of the book. This one has kind of that middle second act sag where what I loved about previous books is how Joe manages to get himself into and then out of situations with the other characters. He's constantly talking to them. He's constantly doing new things that are a little bit nuts. And he has to kind of wiggle out of them, um, usually involving murder. This book doesn't have as much of that. And I think the middle kind of suffers from it because... Joe spends a lot of the second book sitting and watching video, and that's not great reading. The stuff happens, but it's more on the outskirts, uh, more around the edges of the book. And I think there's kind of a another character who's introduced in the form of the detective character, the PI or whatever, who I think it kind of creates a false sense of tension in the book because this guy comes out of nowhere. I mean, I still like the novel and I still would read another few of these. I, I haven't tired of the whole formula. And I mean, for me, it's kind of like the Dexter books. Like, you know what you're getting with the Dexter book and most of them are, um, they do what they need to get, do to get the job done. And so I really dig them. And I dug this book. You Love Me is a perfect, perfect Caroline Kepnes book. Totally loved it. I think I could read another couple. And I think those are my initial impressions. So would I recommend that you read it? Yeah. I mean, if you've read two of them, then you should read this third one. It has a few great twists. Uh, there's something at the end that I totally didn't see coming. Um, and I won't spoil that part. I've spoiled enough, I think. And so, you love me. Should you read it? Yes. Do it. And that's it. That's the end of the video. So don't forget to subscribe. 
I guess people say smash the subscribe button, but just subscribe to the videos. It'd be nice. I don't put these out often, but I'd like for you to see them if I do. So thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.